Hey, what's up? David here with After Video Effects, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be making another variation of my light rays tutorial, and uh, this one is a little bit more complex, but uh, I personally like this version. Now, before we begin, I do want to mention that all the techniques that I learned are actually from Visionary Fire. So I just want to acknowledge that that all the techniques are from him. So yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. So let's go straight into it. So we're going to drop this into a new comp here. And as you can see, it's actually playing backwards. So we can do that by time reverse layer. So now it's playing the way we want it. And I might cut my comp at around the 10 second mark. So hit N, right click, trim comp to work area. Okay, and then we're going to add the uh, camera tracker tool. It will just analyze to get some tra camera tracking going. So yeah, I'm just going to leave this going for a few minutes. All right, so we've got some camera tracking data. All right, so let's go ahead and just pre-compose this and we'll leave all the attributes and call this background hit. Okay, and if we have a look at this, we should still have our camera tracking data. Nice, okay. So I'm gonna make a new solid and we can make this any color. Let's go with green and we'll call this tree mat hit. Okay, shut the eye off and turn off the sound. I'm at the beginning of our comp right here and just might just slide this over. And what I'm gonna do is just grab the pen tool with our mat layer selected and we're just gonna draw a rough mask around our big tree. Okay, and then if we hit F and then we may feather out maybe two pixels. And then if we hit T, we can just lower the opacity. And if we hit M, we can animate the mass path. So scrub here, go forward, just move this across here like that. And just do this for the entire comp here. So, all right. So once we've got a nice animation, we can go ahead and do some other um, maths. So I'm just going to bring this back up to 100%. And we might make a new solid. We'll call this center tree. Hit OK. And we'll do the same for this tree here. So I'm just going to pause the recording and I'm just going to do this tree. Okay. All right, so once you've got a nice set of mats uh, done, we can go ahead and pre-compose these. So let's go ahead and pre-compose one at a time. So Control shift c and we'll move all the attributes, and we'll just get rid of the comp button. Hit it. OK. Same goes for this one. And this one. OK. So now we can just hide the layers, please. And let's make a new solid and we'll give, make a black. We'll call this light ray. Hit OK. We'll get the fractal noise effect. And I might just make this dynamic progressive. Maybe adjust this brightness and contrast here. And we'll uncheck uniform scanning and make this. 1000 and we'll decrease this to around like 40. Okay, and then we can add a maybe a fast box blur, maybe one pixel repeat edge, make it one. We can add a curves adjustment and just give this a little contrast. Like that. And we'll go into alpha and just boost this up. Okay. And we can even add a linear wipe. 
and make this like 270. Now I'll just feather it out quite a lot. Okay, and then we'll just draw a nice skinny mask here. Like that, and hit F, feather it out. Maybe about 10 pixels. And we'll set the track mac to add. And then we'll make it a 3D layer. Okay, so now we've got our light race all set up. So let's just shut the eye off for now. And we'll just turn off the mask. Now let's go ahead and just grab some track points that we can place in 3D space. So I'm just going to go to the end of the comp. And I might just grab some. So maybe one here. Oh, oops. And we go right click, create, null, and camera. And then we've got a nice null object, and we can just create a bunch of these. So maybe one up here, maybe one up here, maybe one here, and one over here. So we've got a bunch of null objects here. And we want to go to the top view. And just make sure that our null objects are within our range of 3D space. So you can see they're around this center. It's okay. I mean, it's not the best, but it will work. All right. So just go back here and just uh, uncheck the 3D camera track. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and copy one of our position datas into 3D space. So maybe I'll get this position property, copy it, and paste it there. And we'll turn it on. And as you can see, it's in 3D space. So we can just come over here, maybe rotate it. Maybe hit R and just rotate it that and maybe just rotate it along the y-axis like that so something like that and if we hit T and just bring the passive down to maybe like 15% okay uh, in this case we'll make it 20 okay and then we can duplicate it and then we can just grab another point so maybe, maybe this one, hit P, copy the position data and paste it here. And then we can just like move it down here and just push it out here like so, like that, and push it up. And we'll duplicate it one more and maybe we can grab this null object Hit P, copy the position data, and paste it there. And we can even just rotate this. And just like that. Trying to make it parallel. And we even just like adjust this transform scale. So maybe make this wider. It's about 60. Like that. Okay, and I'm just going to do the, for the rest of the null objects, so I'm just going to pause the recording and I'll do that quickly. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. It's stabilized in 3D space, but uh, kind of looks really bad right now. It's like it's just a bunch of light rays just laid on top of each other. But not to worry, we'll fix that. So let's just jump to the end here, and I want to hide all of my null objects. So we turn on the side switch for the comp. And let's go ahead and create a new solid. Doesn't matter what color, we'll make it white. We'll call this matte. Hit OK. We'll shut the eye off and we'll just drop it underneath our first light ray. So let's focus on this first light ray. So what I want to do is grab the set matte effect. And what I can do is select this center tree matte. And we'll invert it. So if we come and look at this, so you can see it's isolated, and if we set the track mat to alpha mat, now it looks like the light race is behind.
behind this tree. So that looks awesome. And we might even do is duplicate it, put it on top here, and a second focus on this second light ray. And we need to get rid of this tree and the center tree. So what we can do is duplicate it, the set matte effect, and we can select our tree mat and we can just set this to alpha mat. So check this out. We can actually see this is in 3D space, but behind all of our trees that we set up. So you can just keep doing this. So duplicate it once more. It's, what's this light ray? So just this tree here. So we can just delete this and set this to alpha mat. Nice. And we'll just do this for the last one. And so it's back here. And I want to be behind these light rays as well. So I'm just going to duplicate this and change this to uh, branch and center tree. Set it to alpha mat. Nice. Okay. So we got all of our light rays set up. So it's looking really good. And I might just turn on the shy switch for our matte layers because we don't really need them anymore. Okay, so let's go ahead and add in some atmosphere smoke. So I've got this number six here, let's drag it in here. And if we scale this up, we can see here we're getting some atmosphere. So let's go ahead and just get a cut behind this tree so we can add these set matte effect once more and we'll select our tree mat and we'll invert it so it's behind our smoke oh sorry not behind our tree and what we can do is maybe just time remap this so time stretch we'll make it like 150 Hit okay and we'll just offset the time here duplicate it maybe flip it And we'll just delete the set matte effect. Okay, and then we'll slide this off. Reset T and bring the opacity down to maybe like 50% each. So we've got a nice haze going on here. Alrighty. And we can set the transfer mode for both of these to screen. Okay, so next thing we have to do is create our uh, color correction. So we can just go Control Y, Control Y, and we'll call this CC, and we'll call this Vignette, and we'll just do our usual curves vignettes. So just bring this down here. Double click them as tool, subtract it, and hit F further it out maybe 400 pixels and we'll apply our looks, apply our curves and a tint effect. So let's just work these one by one. So we're going to edit. And I think after browsing through my preference was classic, warm and fuzzy. So we'll check that. Nice. Okay, and then maybe we could add a little bit of contrast to this. So I just come in here, just add a little bit of contrast. Maybe go to red channel, add a bit of red, take away some blue, like that, and add the tint and maybe drop that to like 20%. Okay, nice. So it's kind of getting blown out with our sky. So what we can do is create an adjustment layer. So control Y and just drop this on top of our background and just add the levels effect. And what I want to do is just crush some of that white so that our sky doesn't get blown out. Okay, and maybe not too much. 
And what we could do is just maybe add a curves adjustment on this and just adjust this. All right, let's check it out. Nice. Okay, so as you can see, my I think my magic looks looks a little too intense. So I might just drop that down to maybe like fifty percent, and maybe sixty-five, and I'll drop my tint down to maybe like fifteen. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. And maybe we can just drop the opacity down for these to like 15%. To make it subtle. And maybe we can just adjust the contrast for this. Okay. Maybe adjust the contrast for this as well. Like that. Okay, so let's do one final brand preview. Nice, so I think it's looking pretty good. I mean, like you can do your own adjustments to this, so maybe you can adjust the light rays, maybe you can adjust this adjustment layer because it's a little too hectic at the moment. Don't want to blow up the sky here. Maybe you could just draw like a rough mask around this area. So I'll just come over here. Just draw a rough mask and then hit F and feather it out. So I'm just crush all that down a bit. Something like that. Okay, so as you can see guys, it's a pretty simple, a little bit of work, but you can really get a nice result with this. So thank you for everyone. My name's David. I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. Please give a like if you like this video so people can find it. Subscribe if you want to see more and be sure to hit that bell button to get the notifications. And comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video.